Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. We are back tonight with Turn Back the Clock Tuesday, and we are heading back to the early and mid-80s, something we haven't done in quite a while. And we're ripping open some tops boxes here. Well, not complete boxes, but we have partial boxes that I was lucky enough to stumble upon last week in an antique mall and picked these up for a decent price. So we are finally going to be able to do 85 and 83 tops. These boxes have soared as of lately. Used to be able to pick up an 83 Tops box about a year, year and a half, two years ago for about 300 bucks. Now they are around 785 Tops were about 200 or less a year or two ago. Now they're about 500. So prices are really climbing. So I was managed to muster up a few packs here. We have nine packs from each box, and then we have a mystery pack that's a little bit crusty. But we are going to raffle that off to the participants of this break. And the way we're going to do this is we have all the participants written down on these cards. And I went all out here because I originally wrote them in Sharpie. But you can see through. The Sharpie bled through, so I decided to do them again. And now there's no foul play involved. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one pack and one pack with Rick Ownby on top. And we're going to set them down like that. We'll push these back a little bit. Yeah, I really like 83 tops. Love 85 tops. So excited to be able to do this. Like, because I think that, I don't know, $500 for a box or $700 for a box is excessive. Um, so we have all of the participants here. I'm going to flip these over. A little behind the scenes action. We just use index cards for these nameplates. But I'm going to shuffle these all up. And whoever we pull is going to get the very first pack selection here. And it's going to be Brian Z is up. First, and is in the hot seat, Brian Z. Good luck to you. Let's find some rookie cards. We'll do 85 tops first. Looking for Mark McGuire's USA Olympic card, Curry Puckett rookie card, and Clemens, Doc Gooden, Saberhagen, Eric Davis. There's a lot of them in here. These packs look pretty good, too. They didn't really look to be tampered with when I was looking them over. I don't really rip, want to rip these wrappers because I will probably keep some of them. I'm trying to make a collage of pack wrappers. And it looks like that gum is going to be leeching onto the... <laughs> oh, man. What would it take for you to eat that? That is filthy. Jeez. Oh, man. That is absolutely filthy. Ripping for Ripkins. What's up, man? What's up, guys? Second year, Don Maddenly can also be found in here. Don Slot was a big fan of him when he played for the Buckos. Let's see what we can find. Bob Horner's 78 draft pick. Jim Gantner, very first pack in. What do we have here? Some foul play. Doug Baker got it bad. And these are obviously one per pack. John Fishman's in here. Says, I've had worse things in my mouth. John Fishman, good to see you, man. Doug Froble, Jose Cruz. I thought that was going to be a Ripken for a second. Mike Young, Steve McCaddy, Lamar Hoyt, Mike Mason, and Bill Allman. Nothing really at all in that first pack for Brian Z in the books. Lewis Moreno, what's happening? On to the 83 cello. They also put a piece of gum in the, right in the dead center here so they can ruin two cards instead of one. 83, we have a chance at Sandberg's rookie, Tony Gwynn, and also Wade Boggs. And PSA 10s of those cards are well over $1,000 nowadays. Greg Nettles, super veteran card. Ross Baumgarten, shout out to Joe, Steve Balboni, Al Williams. I like this design a lot. They kind of followed up in 84 and did something similar with the face down in the corner. Steve Carlton, Super Veterans, nice one. Better chew it. Uncle Ross. Oh, man, look at that. The very first pack, Tony Gwynn rookie card. Congratulations, Brian. This one looks pretty freaking nice, man. Wow. Tony Gwynn, rookie. Very, very nice. First pack. That is awesome. No gum stain. We got very lucky on that one. Wow. Brian Z, congrats. Tony Gwynn, rookie card. If only there was a one touch to put that in, but I will definitely take very good care of this. Wow. Gwynn, rookie in the first pack. That is some awesome luck. I was definitely bummed out about the 85 toss pack, but the centering on this is excellent, man. Very, very nice. Bill Verdon, 
Reggie Smith, the gum in here is not nearly as disgusting as in the Topps pack, 85 pack. There's a Reggie All-Star card. Robert D., thank you, man. David Dave Winfield. Man, that was freaking awesome, dude. Very first pack. Please don't leave the stream. <laughs> there might be more on the way. Marshall Edwards, that one's cut pretty bad. Rick Miller, Tommy Boggs, Mike Norris, and Bobby Castillo. Boom slang. What's happening, man? Thanks for being here. Tony Gwynn, rookie card in the first pack. So awesome. Brian Z, congrats, man. Definitely made up for that dud of the 85 pack. Very, very nice. That one is in the books. First one down. Still some remnants of gum left behind there. As we move right along here. All right. Who's going to be next? Shuffle them up again. Sorry, this might be kind of ghetto, but... What, what is isn't that we do here on this channel? All right, we'll go with this one next. Lee H. Lee H is up next. We'll pick two random ones off the top here. Good luck to you, Lee. Let's hope we can find you something nice. Jeez, is that disgusting. <laughs> I really hope that there's nothing prominent that's going to be sacrificed. <laughs> Mike Trout is very energetic. Watch your corners. What's up? Gary Woods. RJ Reynolds. Frank Viola. Criterium Racer. There, there's Lee right there. This is his spot. Frank Viola All-Star card. Hopefully find something for you. Tony Scott card is really not salvageable. Ernie Witt. Kenny Molinato. Tim Wallach. McGregor, Vaughn Hayes, Brad Kaminsky, Jeff Newman, and Willie Upshaw. Definitely uh, pretty off-center Willie Upshaw there. Ends that pack. Let's hope we find something for you on the 83. wonder what PSA would do if you send the gum to them. I heard somebody else talk about that too. Ed Lynch on top of this pack. Let's hope for a nice rookie. Paul L. Vaughn Hayes definitely was someone that Eric and I both hated for no reason. I don't really know what it was. And the gum sliding out of the middle there. All right, Ed Lynch leading off. Sean Butcher, Jim Bibby. Willie McGee rookie card. That's pretty awesome. I completely forgot to mention him. Willie McGee rookie. That's a really cool card. I like that one a lot. Cesar Cedeno, Mickey Klutz, Jerry Garvin. William McGee was awesome. Juan Eichelberger, he has an error card in, was it, 83 Don Russ. I don't think it's 82. Jody Davis, Tommy Lasorda, Templeton, uh, Rod Carew is a nice one. I don't think I've ever seen that card. I like that one a lot. Carew, Johnny Lamaster, Ricky Henderson, another nice one there. I never really saw too many 83 Tops cards. It was a year before I was born. Gorman Thomas. I don't remember looking at too many of these. Many trio. Bill Gollickson, Dave Kingman, Jose Cruz, the father of Jose Cruz Jr., who we all loved in 1997 for a month. Rupert Jones and Jim Eschen. Still not a bad pack, though. Carew, Willie McGee, rookie card. Henderson, not too shabby at all. No, uh... No, or no uh, Boggs or Sandberg in that one, but still a nice rookie card nonetheless. McGee and some nice Hall of Famers as well. 83 Tops are awesome. Love it. That Lee is in the books. And then everybody, like I said, will have a chance at the bonus pack at the very end. Next one up is going to be Philip S., who I saw in here earlier. 85 pack. And then one of these... Uh, the buy-in for this was $25 shipped, Boom Slang, which I thought was a, was a good deal because one pack of these on eBay is $30. I think they're like $30 shipped or $30 plus shipping even for just a one cello pack. And then uh, 85 packs usually like 15 15 to 20 I believe. So we'll start off with the 83 tops. A cello box is like $800, I believe, if you can find one. Dick Tidro. Philip S., good luck to you. John Wathen, can't open these older ones without uh, seeing that face. 82 record breaker. Mike Ramsey. Steve Sachs, it's a second year card for him. There's Brittany Hayden. John and Denny. 
Ed Glynn, Clyde King. Let's hope for a nice rookie or some Hall of Famers in there. Steve Carlton and Floyd Bannister, strikeout leaders. Gotta love the John Wathen, Woody Herzog, Manny Sarmiento. Frank Viola rookie card is actually in here, too. It looks a lot like that Paul Boris. Mark Wagner. 1983. Let's try it out. Rick Cerrone, Leon Durham, Steve Nicosia, Glenn Hubbard. Doesn't taste like 1983. Cliff Johnson, Ron Washington, Bergman, and Lonnie Smith. Steve Carlton, strikeout leader, is the best one in that pack. Let's hope for some better luck in uh, the 85 pack. I'm not eating the gum, though, in this one. Let's see what we can find. I'm definitely not eating that. All right. Dave Rucker. <laughs> you are so savage to choose those goods. Dwayne Murphy, at least it wasn't um, a rookie card that was stuck or had gum stuck to it. Ken Phelps. Oh, we definitely recognize him here. This gum is pretty filthy. Not as filthy as the, as the 85 gum, but all right. Let's continue on here. Let's pull something. I think I saw a strawberry in here, second year card. That's what it looks like, at least. Gary Reedus, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Ken Griffey Sr. Sorry, I got caught up in that. Britt Burns. Rich Gedman, Chet Lemon, Bob Watson, Steve Lake, Gary Ward, Al Chambers. Looks a lot like the Griffey from the side, at least. And that one is cut pretty bad. Ends that pack for Philip S. I think I have some Hershizers that I put aside for you, Philip, for the next time you go into a break. So I'll see if I still have those aside and send those your way with these cards. That ends that stack out. And it takes us. <laughs> Griffey Jr. was in 8th grade in 85. All right, next one up. Why couldn't machines consider? <laughs> I don't know, man. The quality control is horrible. All right, next up we'll do Ribby for Ripkins. This is actually going to be Lewis Moreno's spot. He said that he wanted the first spot to go to you, Lewis. So pull one from the left. We'll pull one from the left. Bruce Suter is on top of this pack, the most notable name that I've seen on these. I'll save that one for last. 85, we'll do this one first. This one looks pretty haggard. Gary Lucas, let me get a couple in the chat here real quick. Before we sift through these dirty, dirty cards, this dirty gun. Joe's card crosses. Everyone was focused on the Gwyn, but meanwhile, Bill, <laughs> Bill Vernon was undressing us with his eyes. That card was creepy, Joe. Thank you for that, man. I appreciate you being here. And I want to let you know, too, I did the unthinkable, and I'm... I treated myself to a case of yak packs today. There was one case left on eBay, and it was the only person selling it, and it was 40 bucks. I'm like, oh, I'm doing it. So yak pack case on the way. Joe, I'm going to need your help ripping that. Let's do it. And we'll hate ourselves for it. Corey's here ripping for Ripkins. My first stack goes to Luis Moreno tonight as I start to repay him for the OD Robert opening day. Luis Robert rookie card. Short print he sent to me. More to follow. Lewis, thanks again, man. Yeah, very, very cool. Um, Lewis Moreno sent Corey the 2020 opening day short print of Luis Robert. This is a kind gesture. It's really cool of him. Let me uh, post a link to both of your channels here before we dive into this next pack. Joe's Card Corral. Check them out if you haven't. Appreciate that, Joe. And also my buddy Corey, Ripping for Ripkins. Who maybe one day will head up this way and help me do a break. Check them out. Please subscribe to them if you're not already. Show them some love. Appreciate that, you guys. Let's dive in and see what we can find. Louis Moreno. This is your stack here. Mike Jeffcoat. Brad Wellman. That is cut horrible. Dick Williams. Mark Davis. What's up, man? No, uh, we didn't do a... I guess we kind of did. He was on the phone um, during one of them. Steve Farr and Jeff Leonard. 
Tony Lamaster. And we've got Donnie Baseball, second year. It's about time we found a prominent card in 85 tops. John A., shout out to you, man. You called it earlier. Uh, definitely off center, but um, about freaking time we've seen a nice face in 85 tops. Terry Whitfield and Mike Stenhouse. But yeah, nice Mattingly other than the off centering there. Gorgeous card, Joe says. Yeah, it's definitely a cool one, Lewis. So congrats on that one. I'm just beginning to worry about these 85 tops packs. And let's see if we can. Brett Butler is also a good player as well. And Suter takes a spotlight on this pack. This this gum has created quite a mess here. John Stearns on the back, and the gum will slide out about now. And I'm not going to eat that stick, though, because I learned my lesson the hard way. <laughs> as long as we don't see Bill Verdon. Bruce Suter leading off Bob Baylor, Champ Summers. There's a Rod Carew and Mike Witt card, Lamar Hoyt. Raleigh, oh, man, Wade Boggs rookie card. Louis Moreno, you got the Boggs rookie. Raleigh Fingers, speaking of yak packs, embrace that stash there for a minute. But Wade Boggs, man, sweet. Tony Gwynn and now Wade Boggs, freaking awesome. Definitely a little off-center there, but iconic card, man. I don't know if you had that one or not, Louis, but no gum stain either, so we got lucky again on this one. Very, very nice. PSA 10 Boggs is over $1,000. This one is not going to be a PSA 10, but... Um, still a nice card nonetheless. Sharp corners on these for just random packs that have been in a box for so long. Greg Lazinski looks like he's freaking baked. Lamar Hoyt, again, Jim Cott. Cool card of him, super veteran. See if we can find anything else in this pack. Randy Johnson. Mookie Wilson, that's a cool one. I always like Mookie Wilson. His rookie guard was actually 81. Mickey Hatcher. Not to be confused with Mackie Hatcher. George Frazier. Art Howe, Bob Welch, and John Stearns. And that ends that pack out. Wade Boggs, rookie card. Louis Moreno. Thank you to Corey for allowing Louis to pull that Boggs rookie card. Very, very cool. Congrats, man. Mark R. also is still in here. We go back here. So sent Patreon message with about Toff's Big League with Figure. Okay, sweet. I didn't even see that, man. Appreciate that, Mark. Yeah, those Toff's Big League with Figures. I did a video opening those. Um, those are pretty awesome. I'm surprised that they're so cheap. I think they were like... I forget what Mark said they were. I think 25 bucks or something like that. The figures alone are like... Some of them are like $20. So, pretty sick. I'll have to check that out. Appreciate it, Mark. The next one up we have Joker68. I don't know if he's in here or not. Um, John V's is cool break. John walk down memory lane. Thank you for being here, man. The next one in. Let's hope for some good luck. Joker sixty eight, aka Kurt. Let's see if we can. Uh, ooh, I'm not gonna bother sending the gum to you guys. I don't think that uh, you want that. <laughs> John Fishman, thanks, man. <laughs> Darnell Coles, Matt Young. Rusty K, I know a lot of people like him. Brian Harper, Keith Cato, that's a name I have never heard before. Mike Lacoste, that hideous looking car to him. Bob Boone, Juan Samuel, Steve Carlton, another nice one, but uh, definitely off center there. But uh, nice to see another Hall of Famer in here. Alfredo Griffin. Alejandro Pena and Mike Caldwell ends that stack out. And then that takes us to the final pack for Joker 68. Matt Young says, what should I pay for an average Brett rookie? Also Matt Young card. Brett rookie. I feel like they've gone up since I bought him. You used to be able to get a Brett rookie like a year, year and a half ago for like 25 bucks. I think now they're more so like around like 40. I would definitely check the condition of it. Um, I don't know. If you're not like super worried about condition, you could probably get a, a, a decent looking Brett for like around 30 bucks with no creases. Definitely check some card shows. I think I bought mine for like half off. The guy was selling all his stuff for like 50% off and he had it marked at like 40. So it was like 20 bucks or something like that. It was definitely a good deal. But that was also like five years ago. 
Stemmer's Hits is here. He says, hello, John. Appreciate you visiting us. 468 got our first one of one Mookie Betts 2020 archives. 55th edition gold foil. I did not catch that part of the stream, though. Stemmer's Hits, thank you very much for being here. I appreciate that. I'll have to go back and check that out because I missed that pull. Unless you didn't pull live. Stemmer's Hits of 468. Getting really close to 500. If you're not subbed to them, check them out. Click on that link that I just posted and let's help them get to 500 here. Father and son team. They're usually live. I feel like it's almost every weekend, every other weekend. And they make a great duo. Ripping older stuff, ripping newer stuff. Definitely an enjoyable time. Really appreciate that. Every other weekend. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, one of one. That's pretty freaking awesome, man. I'll have to go back and check that out. Suter's on top here. Joker 68. I think he's in here. We've had some great pulls so far. Steve Bedrosian. Ron Reed. Looks like a, I don't know, a creepy version of Charlie Huff. Dave Roberts. <laughs> oh, that card is awesome. I love it. That's a good one. Sutcliffe. Steve Rogers. Alvis Woods. Don Baylor, Sanderson, Kenneth Burkfell, UL Washington, Luis Pujols, Pedro Guerrero. I've been stoked about that card as a kid. Pete Vukovic, Jerry White, Singleton, Bake McBride, Phil Negro, Hall of Famer, definitely off center there. Doug Flynn, Dave LaRoche, and Jim Palmer. So Negro and Jim Palmer, two Hall of Fame pitchers, actually Suter as well. So not too shabby there. We got a Carlton in the 85 pack. I actually have a bunch of stuff, Joker 68, to send you. You have cards from the auction. You have cards from the last break from Summit. And I got some extras for you as well, Joker. So I appreciate you participating. Wave of cards is here. This is Baked McBride underrated. I haven't heard that name in a long time. Was Don Sutton in there? I totally missed I totally missed the Sutton. I apologize. I don't know how I missed that. I guess I got too excited. All right. John A. I saw John A in here a little bit ago. Good luck to you, man. Let's see who we got on the top there. Can you make those names out? Dan Meyer on the back. Bake McBride. That definitely is an awesome name. <laughs> I got too excited about the Pedro Guerrero. I totally overlooked Don Sutton. That's what it was. That makes sense. David Green. Rufino Linares. A cool name, I like that. Good luck, John A. Let's find something good. Vita Blue and Willie Wilson, Jeff Little, Dave LaRoche, and Earl Weaver. These manager cards, they're just like so laid back. All dugout shots, them just having the time of their lives. <laughs> That's great. Dave Schmidt, Ed Romero, Randy Johnson. Why does he have two cards in this set? That is weird, and uh, I must have got traded or something, I guess. I don't know. Dave Rigetti, but it was always one series, so I don't get that. Elias Sosa, Chet Lemon, Fred Stanley, uh, John Matlack, John Tudor, Dickie Thon, Mike Fishland, Brad Mills, and Dan Meyer. Ends that pack. Brad Beast is how much for the breaks? Uh, it all depends on what it is. All depends. I usually try to do cheaper stuff, though. I don't really get, go into expensive stuff. Ugh. Bull pack. Thank you, man. I was so stoked to find that uh, Egon RGB Screaming Heroes. That was awesome. I never find RGB stuff in the wild. Steve Garvey. All-star card, a record breaker on top. I think I saw Henderson in here too, so might have some good luck coming up ahead. Eddie Whitson. Somebody is going to be mangled here. Bob McClure. Ugh. Andy McGaffigan. He ate it hard. Henderson base card, a little bit affected by the gum. John Wathen, never affected by anything. I don't know if I've ever seen that card, but... Don Sutton. We found a Don Sutton card. Hall of Famer Don Sutton. I think that makes up for me missing him in the last pack. Tim Raines. Uh, I thought that was going to be a Mattingly for you. Andre Robinson and Lance Parrish. 
horribly off center Tim Raines. That's a cool one, though. I don't think I've ever seen that one either. A couple Hall of Famers in there. Henderson was probably my favorite, I think, in that stack for John A. Wathen is invincible. There's no taking down Wathen. And we're coming off of three packs left, and then we have a bonus pack. Hopefully, we'll see a McGuire. All right. Who is it going to be? W Boggs, what's happening? Kurt W is up next. Good luck to you, Kurt. We pulled Tony Gwynn, rookie, out of the very first pack, 83 tops. We pulled the Boggs. Dale Murphy is in this pack. Ooh, that is awful looking. Look at those freaking maggots all over it. Of course, is good luck, Kurt. Let's find you a McGuire or a Puckett or a Clemens. I'd love to see one of those. George Bell. Daryl Porter. Pat Tabler. Looks really confused. Bobby Brown. Alan Ashby. Nice Dale Murphy, of course. Has to be off center. W. Vogs. Next flea market. Hopefully this weekend. There's Keith and Mike Lacoste, who seem to go always be back to back. Paul Owens. Greg Gross. Looking like the BTK killer. And um, Buddy Biancolana. Don Robinson ends that pack. Brad B. Thanks, man. So the year after I was born, I don't know if I had any 85 tops as a kid. Maybe like one or two common cards. That's probably about it. Terry Harper on the on the uh, top of this next pack. Let's see if we can't find ourselves the Rhino. Gary Carter hopefully will lead way to something else in there. We've had some good luck for just out of nine packs. Not even through the full nine yet and to find uh, Gwyn and Boggs out of nine random packs. It's pretty good. Mike Caldwell, Bob Gritch, Rudy Law, Jim Beatty. There's a nice Yaz. Cool card to him. Dwight Evans, nice Dale Murphy all-star card. Jeffrey Leonard, Gene Garber, Bob. <laughs> a little dirty piece of gum hiding there. Aussie Virgil. Milt. Oh, there it is. Ryan Sandberg rookie card. We found all three rookies. That is freaking awesome, man. Kurt W., you got the Rhino rookie. Very, very nice. And no gum stain. We got very, very lucky on avoiding the gum. All three in seven packs. That's some pretty freaking good luck. Rhino rookie card. Beautiful. Definitely a little off, but... Uh, I don't care. That is an awesome-looking card. Kiko Garcia, Gaylord Perry, Keith Moreland, George Brett in the same pack. It's a nice one, too. And Gary Carter, definitely a very nice pack. Sandberg, rookie for you, Kurt. <laughs> Cheswick. 83 is definitely producing. So, well, we made it through all the key rookies now. The only one we haven't seen, really, is Frank Viola in 83, but uh, I'd rather like to see another Gwyn or a Boggs. Mark R says, if the Gwyn or Rhino owner, or the, if the Gwyn owner or Rhino rookie, see if you can auction off here tonight at the end. The final two. Hobby Surger. David, you're up next. I don't know if he's in here or not, but let's go to town. <laughs> we need Frank Viola, but nobody, nobody really cares about that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, let's find the Big Mac. Corey. Let's see if we can find you a Big Mac in your last pack. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Kyle's cards is Gwyn Boggs and Rhino Trifecta. Boom. Hobby Searcher says, I wanted that last 83 pack. Well, hopefully we can produce similar, similar results for you, man. The Bowser says, I already have both. Bobby Castillo, Hal McRae, Ken Schrum, uh, Davey Johnson, Chris Chambliss, Tom Hume, Butch Davis, Harold Baines, not his rookie card, but uh, Baines kind of early on in his career, Frank LaCourt, Joe Morgan, our Hall of Famer from that pack, and also along with Baines, and Bob Lillis. <laughs> Egg says Bane, hashtag Bane's Nation. Gotta love it. Joe Morgan played for the A's, yeah, I believe, briefly. Um, hobby searcher. Dave, let's find you something good in here, man. We had some great luck with these packs. We haven't found any rookies in 85, but there's that filthy gum again. Let's see if there's something, a surprise hiding in here for us. Joe Youngblood. Harold Baines, 
New Omen, Sean Curtis, Dave Smith, Charlie Huff, Jim Gott, something hot in here, Phil Garner, Kevin Hickey, Jesse Orozco, Jack Clark, Dale Barra. I was like real obsessed with him for like a year. I don't know why. Mike Vale, Dave Engel, Dennis Leonard, Milt May, Andre Thornton, and Dave McKay. Nothing too promising in their hobby searcher. Sorry that you couldn't get the last pack. I'll throw in an extra for you to try to offset the lack of Hall of Famers and rookies in there. Harold Baines, probably being the best one in those. Texas to our last one. It's going to be Corey. <laughs> Huff looks 60 in the 70s. He definitely, he definitely does. Joe says Yogi wasn't even obsessed with Dale Barra. That was Yogi's son. All right, this is Corey's stack. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find you a rookie in here. Jessica Lambert, what's happening? Yeah, at least you can't find Chris Sabo in here. Oh, that is filthy. Frank DePino, that's pretty crazy. I think he, I think he autographed uh, Eric's card, and Eric did that break with him. Mark Thurman, Mike Norris, Johnny Walkenfuss. People are always asking about him. Wave of Cards is last pack luck for Ripping for Ripkins. Rick Russell, Wave of Cards. Thanks a lot, man. Let me give you a plug here before we finish with this pack. Uh, Wave of Cards has a channel also ripping older stuff, and I really enjoy it. He rips open boxes with Stu Stone from uh, Jack of All Trades, if you guys have seen that movie. Pretty awesome stuff. Awesome duo there. Check him out if you haven't. He's almost at 300 subs. Wave of Cards, I appreciate you being here, man. Thank you for the support. And I'm sure Corey appreciates it as well. Please click on that link and check out Wave of Cards. And also, say what's up to Stu Stone. He's an awesome dude, too. Mining from Mondesi is a good channel also. I love that channel name. It is great. I don't know if this one's salvageable. Tony Gwynn, probably the best card we're going to see, and it is an abomination to baseball cards. Clay Christensen, Dave Anderson, Kent, home run Beck, Mickey Hatcher, and Joey Davis. Nothing in there for you, Corey. Let's see what we have in the final pack. High-octane cards. What's happening, man? The final 28 cards. Let's see what we got. And we're also we're doing an auction tomorrow night. We're gonna finish out the modern card auction. So if you guys want to come along for that, please do. Probably around like 8 or 8:30. Auction off the last of the doubles that I have of modern stuff. Jeremy Stark, what's up, man? Lewis says, good luck, Corey. A not-so-pissed-off Sparky Anderson. It's not something you see every day. Terry Kennedy, Tim Lawler, Jim Palmer. That's a nice one because Corey PC's Oriole stuff. Lonnie Smith. Kent Colvey. We still like him a lot. Bud Anderson. Ah, there's going to be Nolan Ryan there for a second. Ray Knight and Joe Necro. Let's see what we got in the last half of the pack. Tom Brookins, not the 89 Fleer error card, unfortunately. Steve Trout, Broderick Perkins, Pete Rose. Nice. First time seeing that one tonight. Of course, all the big freaking names are off-center. We got very lucky with the rookie cards being centered up pretty good for the most part. Nice Rose, though. I like that one. Burt Roberge, Brian Downing. For a reason, I liked him a whole bunch back in the 80s, too. Rick Leach, Rick Camp, Tim Raines. That's a cool one, too. Of course, off-center. But I like that card. I had that one as a kid, I think, in like the early 90s. And I think I the top loader and was real stoked about it because it was an older card. Danny Heap ends that pack. Not too bad. No key rookies we were chasing after, but still. Pete Rose was a nice touch on that one. Let's go ahead and final pack here. In the midst of all this filthy... <laughs> Look at that. I love sweeping that off every single day. Final pack there for Corey in the books. And we still have one left that I saved this special one for last. Why is it special? Because it looks like sulfuric acid dripped on top of it. But we're going to raffle this one off to 
the participants via wheel names, which I have right here. Let me turn the volume on so you can hear the generic crowd sound. All right, wheel names. We have everybody in there that participated in the auction. Let me turn this up so we can hear that. Awesome. All right, so whoever it lands on, you're going to get this bonus pack. Good luck to you. Let's shuffle it up a little bit. Freaking, there we go. All right, shuffled up. Bonus pack going to Kurt W, it looks like. Kurt W, you got it, man. I'm going to let that play in the background when we open this pack. Uh, cut off. Brian Smith says, Harry Carey said walk and fuss name backwards. <laughs> Brian Smith, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Harry Carey. Harry Carey's skits on Saturday Night Live are hilarious. All right, Kurt, good luck to you. Al Bumbry. Yeah, the Harry Carey skit on SNL is great. Mike Schmidt. Why did it have to be Mike Schmidt? Uh, freaking disgusting. All right. We have a Ryan Sandberg, it looks like, all-star card, so that's pretty sick. Sandberg all-star card, and it's not horribly off-center, so that's a nice touch. Very young Sandberg. I think it's Lou, uh, Lou Whitaker for a second, but it's old Rusty K. Harry Spillman. Mike Schmidt is ruined. 313, thank you, guys. I appreciate all you for being here. Brian Z says, came in late, great pull of Gwyn rookie. Yanks, John. Brian Z, thank you very much. Yeah, that was your pull in the very first pack, man. I was stoked for you. And we also pulled the uh, the uh, Boggs and Sandberg out of nine packs. Freaking awesome, man. Really appreciate that. Willie Randolph. Uh, nothing in the bonus pack for Kurt, but that was still fun. That's probably the last time I'll ever open 85 tops, honestly, because like I said, they just keep going up in price. And same with 83 tops. I'll probably never open a box of those. So glad to be able to get my hands on them. That is all that I have for you tonight. That was definitely a good time. Um, I, I don't know what we'll do next week. We have 82 Fleer, 85 Fleer, and I might even do a set break of some kind. There's a bunch of sets that I'd like to open that boxes are just crazy expense, expensive. Maybe at some point we'll do that. But I think I'm thinking next week might be 82 Fleer looking for the Ripken rookie Lee Smith and also the Littlefield reverse negative error card. So stay tuned for that. But tomorrow we'll be back with an auction of modern cards, 2000 to 2020. So um, if you're interested in picking up any rookies and some newer stuff, tune in for that around like 8, 815, somewhere in that. We'll be live. So hopefully I will see you then. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You guys are awesome. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great night.